Welcome to my review of Fluch von Novgorod, the girl's door Euro fighter at Hansapark. The ride opened in 2009 and this coaster packs a punch. With a track length of almost 2,230 feet or 700 meters, it's not the longest coaster out there, but it still has a solid duration, but I'll come to that later. It reaches a top speed of 62 miles or 100 kilometers per hour. And it has a height of 131 feet or 40 meters, and it features one inversion, a hard and roll. It has an LSM launch, a vertical lift hill and a beyond vertical drop. What makes this ride really special is the theming. This coaster has top-notch theming. Not only is the theming very spread out, it also has a very in-depth story. This time I won't talk about the POV because the outdoor part where you can actually see the layout is way too short to just show it to you, so I will just talk about it. After you leave the station, there are two pre-shows, both are very epic and have nice music. Then you go into a small pre-drop and hit the launch. And this launch is insane. It has the world's second fastest acceleration just after Dodo Donpa in Japan. And it also has Europe's fastest acceleration. It is a rolling launch, but this does not keep this launch from being one of my favorites. It's actually my second favorite launch just after Top Field Dragster, which is a whole other level, but still. After the launch, you hit a massive air terminal. You get pretty solid sustained ejector airtime. After that you go into the sideways turn, it's a little pointless but still. Then you go into this double turnaround. In Germany we call it Buchtknoten. It's a pretty unique element and it's relatively intense. But you should keep your head forwards, otherwise you could get a little head banging. But it's nothing atrocious, so it's not horrible. After that you go into a pretty whippy hardland roll. And then you hit the brakes. But the ride isn't over yet. Because from the ending of the launch to this section, the coaster was outdoor. But everything before and everything coming now is completely indoor and total darkness. You now start ascending a vertical chain lift hill. You stop on this chain lift hill, then there's another pre-show, which is really cool. Then you finish your climb to the top and go down the beyond vertical drop, which is really fun. Then you fly into a bank turn. Then you fly over straight track, but it feels super fast because it's indoor and in total darkness it feels so awesome. Then you hit the brakes and with the little bit of speed you have you go up a small dip upwards and then you hit the final brakes. After returning to the station, then before the exit there is an entire labyrinth which is also really cool and it's also very well themed. So. Before the ride in the queue line is insane theming with story, during the ride and after the ride is theming with story, it's really really great. Besides the turnaround, the ride is also glossy smooth, you won't get any headbanging at all. I wouldn't say the theming itself is the best I've ever seen on a coaster, but the story is by far the best story I've ever experienced on a coaster, it's freaking insane. For the operations of this ride, it mainly depends on the staff. Sometimes they are always very kind, but sometimes they are a little slow, but I don't mind it because they are always doing some funny jokes and it's really nice. And I honestly don't mind standing in this queue line because it's so well themed. I have not ridden Takabisha yet, which is the largest Eurofighter currently in operation, but many people say that Fluch von Novgorod is actually the best Eurofighter because of the launch and the theming. As the name suggests, the coast has a Russian theme. But I don't want to talk about the story now. I'm normally someone who likes theming but isn't taking it as the main priority. But for this coaster, the theming is the coaster. And even besides the theming, it's a great ride. It's getting a 9 out of 10. It could be a little smoother in the turnaround element and the outside part could be a little longer. But that's about the only thing I want to change about this coaster. Have you ridden this ride? What do you think about it? Thanks for watching. Bye.